Okay, so we're now going to look at callbacks in PHP and we're gonna specifically build a small application or a small function rather that allows us to define a string, uh, have a callback and then do something with that string. So echo out a lowercase or uppercase version of it. So we'll be building a function that um, I guess isn't too useful because we already have built in functions, but it demonstrates callbacks. Um, and also we look at functions like is callable and call user func. So let's go ahead and start to define this um, or how we want to use this. So I'm going to say string, this is going to be the name of my function and I want to be able to pass through a string to this. What I then want to do is I want to use a closure or an anonymous function to uh, grab back the details of this name. Then what I want to do is echo out either a lower or an uppercase version of a name. So this just means that we can quickly re quickly use this to grab and do something with um, a string that we pass through to this. So this is the functionality that we want to build. Let's go ahead and just comment this out for now. We'll start to build this. So let's define the function name. Now usually we might say, well, I want to be able to pass in a name and grab back the uppercase and the lowercase version. So how would we actually do this? Well, we might be able to say, oh yeah, we can take a string in here and we can say um, results equals array. So we have a result set that we want to return. So we want to return these results. And inside here, we want to create an associative array of values. So str2 upper, which is a function in PHP, which will convert a string to uppercase. Then we want to say we want to do the same thing, but for lower. So lower. So what this is going to do is return the results that we've just created in the array. So let's go ahead and do a print R on this name function. And we want to pass in something like Alex with a capital A and a lowercase uh, lex. So um, ignore this, um, in fact, Let's have a look at where that's gone wrong. Up and lower. Ah, sorry. String. Okay, so um, we now get an array with the uppercase version and the. Sorry, I changed the uh, wrong part of the code there. So we get an uppercase and lowercase version of this uh, string that we pass in. But to be able to make use of this, what we need to do is we need to say something like. Uh, name equals name Alex echo name lower now we might want not want to do that this will work it will it will use the functionality that we've built but wouldn't it be easier to be able to just say right I have a string Alex and I want to go ahead and get the upper of this and just echo it out or do something with it or you know whatever it may be so what we do now is um, we want to modify this function to be able to behave in this fashion. It's a lot easier to write. It just makes a lot more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow for an additional parameter to be passed through to this function. Um, and we're going to call this string. So we have a string that we pass in, but we also have a callback function that we want to pass as well, which is basically an anonymous function or a closure. So this will be passed through. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the commenting on here. So this whole function here is this parameter here. So when this callback is in here, we complete our results as we'd normally do. Now what we want to do is we don't want to return the results. We want to create an if statement to check if this callback is callable. So for example, if I was to provide something like that, this one is not callable and therefore this would fail. So let's just take a look at that. So if is callable callback, then we want to, we'll just say echo callable. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens here. Nothing is output because the integer one is not callable. However, if this was a function, uh, and we've created an anonymous function, then we see callable because a function is callable. So we're checking that a function that we pass through or a callback that we pass through is callable, then instead of echoing callable, which is useless in this case, we want to use the call user func function. So call user func function. And we want to provide the callback 
and um, the uh, parameter that's sent back with this. So in this case, it's results. Now we do have call user func array, which allows us to define multiple parameters, uh, but we'll just we'll just use one for now. This everything listed here is in the PHP manual, so it's easy to look up and see what you can and can't do with this. So what we're now going to do is we're going to echo. But what do we need to actually echo? Well, within this function here, we return this result set. So we can say name. This can be called anything because this is passed to it, but we can define the name here. So this could be called X, Y, Z if we wanted. So we're going to echo name. Um, in fact, let's print R on name to see what we get back. But we know that we're going to get back the results set, which we've defined here. So we know that printing R on this will just reveal the, the array that we've already seen. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and just say echo uh, name upper. And that will echo out the value at the key upper in the array that's passed through. So there are hundreds of uses for for, anon, uh, for anonymous functions using callbacks. It makes development a lot easier in, in lots of sense. This is a very, very basic example and perhaps useless example, but you can still see that it makes it easy to sort of say, you know, I want a string at this value and I want to get all this data back. So uh, I want to do something with it. And this could contain lots of other different variations. So we've now looked at callbacks in PHP. We've used an anonymous function or a closure to actually provide a callback with a result set that we've then gone ahead and output.